This is K-pop. <laughs> What's his name? Jimin. 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 Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brooke, and usually I do reaction videos. I'm a digital host based out of LA, and I have a special, um, you know, surprise guest here with me today. I'm actually surprised you wanted to do this. Like uh, I mean, we've bit. been talking about it, so I guess, you know, why not? Why not do this? What's up, you guys? My name is Peter, aka The Korean Poppy. Um, I just recently did a show called F4 Island, so if you guys haven't seen it, you guys should watch it. It's definitely different compared to all the reality shows. Um, that's all I can say. So, yeah, it's on HBO Max, so tap in. That's the whole premise, right? It's right. Like whether or not the guy is secretly see that's kind of weird. It's, is it like a self-proclaimed? Right. So twelve guys are okay. twelve nice guys are self-proclaimed. Ah. And then twelve bad boys. Yeah. So it's not the girls saying, "Oh, he's an F boy." It's like you guys already know that you are either a nice right. guy so or the an F boy. Yeah, the girls are the girls have to guess whether or not he's a nice guy or an F boy. Has yours been revealed yet? Well, you have to watch the show. Oh, That's the sorry. whole point of watching the show. I was just wondering. Well, I also don't want you to do any research, so oh, okay. please don't do any research. Uh, and you guys too. What kind of research? Like Google? Okay, don't Google you? <laughs> don't Google me. Honestly, I didn't know if you were gonna show up. I'm gonna be real. I didn't know if you were gonna... <laughs> I was. I was debating. I was like flipping a coin. <laughs> See, I know people. I knew this. Uh, well, no, last so... night I had a long night too. Yeah, so. you did. But I won't, um, I won't speak about that. Okay, we won't. I want to show you a live performance that a lot of people in the BTS fandom okay. are very fond of. Alright. And you said you knew who BTS was, I but mean, you yeah, don't really know about K-pop. Right. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm Korean, you know, I haven't got that. I just don't listen to K-pop. Like, growing up, mm -hmm. I listened to hip-hop and R&B, so please don't hate me. No, no one hates you. I mean, we like, people in K-pop still know that it's kind of like... It's a world thing, but it's also something that's like kind of now getting ushered into, right. especially over here in the West. Like, you know, radio stations are finally playing K-pop and, you know, we're finally getting those interviews and stuff like that. So it's nice because right. it's now getting bigger and bigger and bigger as time goes on. So definitely want to see your true reaction. Okay, let's I'm do it. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited too. No, I'm actually going to have you like alone in this one reacting. Okay. So I'm going to step off because I've reacted to this before. So people have already seen me do it and I'll link that above or below if you guys want to check that out. Okay. But I'm going to move over and we're going to have you, you do it, okay? All right, sounds All good. Right. Hey YouTube, we're so excited about this. They are one of the most popular groups in music with fans all over the world. Here now with an original never before seen performance of Idol from their hit 2018 album, Love Yourself, Answer. Here is BTS. That's lit. Okay, outfits. I love the attitude. And the energy. And the choreography is crazy. Hey. Okay. <laughs> No, there's too much swag going on here. I love how they have like all like different kind of voices. But like, there's a lot of dynamics. This is K-pop. <laughs> I think so. This is more than this. I can only understand the English. <laughs> it's very unfortunate.
Mm. I wish I could dance like this. <laughs> I wish I could dance like this and sing like this. I'd be. Self-love. That is all, that is, that is like BTS's main message. Okay. Is love yourself. They, they, do they try to emphasize that in every song? Uh, not in every song, but it, it, you know, they actually had like a love yourself era <laughs> okay. of like their albums and their music and everything. So it was like a pretty big deal for them. And they continue to speak on that as time goes on. It's like self-love and things that's like that. That's amazing. We need to do more of that. <laughs> we do. We really do. So that's the that's the lyrics of the song that you just saw with the choreo. Do you think it matches up? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? Yeah. And I see here in the chorus, it says Chonggu. That's my Korean name. Really? That is my Korean name. Yeah. Park Chonggu. Oh my god, that's JK. That's Jungkook. Well, Jungkook English, the way that we say it. But yeah, that's, yeah, that's he's the, the maknae of the group, so he's the youngest. I had no youngest? idea that, you're, uh, well, that was your name. I might be the oldest. Yeah, you would be the oldest. Oh. I think you and Jin. Oh, you don't have to no, make Jin me feel so old. Like, oh, no, it's okay. It's you guys, okay. Come on. It's okay. We all age. Okay. <laughs> Jin, I think, is like in that 28 to 30 range, depending on if you're like thinking of Korean age or American slash Western age. Gotcha. Yeah. So, you know, everybody's well, I, the same. All right, so, I don't know if you knew this, um, or I don't know if you guys knew this, but in the Korean culture, I'm 30, mm -hmm. but in Korea, I'm 31. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, you're like, yeah, so you're a little bit older than Jin, because I think Jin's 28 or 29 mm -hmm. in Western age, but 30 in Korean age. Yeah, because yeah. like um, us Koreans, we still count like those nine months that we're in the womb. Yeah. Because I mean, we are pretty much nine months in the womb, and then when we come out, it's like, all right, life starts over again mm. in America. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll I take mean, 30 though, I'll take 30. Yeah, no, yeah, you're 30, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay, we're all gonna get there someday, you know what I mean? Um, but no, so, so tell me your initial thoughts. BTS, that is your first time seeing that performance. Or any performance of BTS? Uh, any? Any, to be honest, no. Oh, what was the first one? I came across a BTS video, I just don't remember, but all I know oh. is that they can perform. Yeah. Like, nobody's business. Definitely. And like, this, they always bring it, like, they never, you know, give it 50%, they always give it like 200%. Mm -hmm. Always bring the energy, the attitude, the swag. So I guess, now now, now I see why everybody loves BTS. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a great performance to watch. If you need to show anybody a BTS video, that is a great one. Like there are some others that are really, really good. Any kind of like Black Swan performances, Mic Drop, of course, everybody loves yeah, to Yeah, yeah, I remember drop. you showed me Black Swan, didn't you? Did I? Why? <laughs> I have like a history of showing everyone Black Swan. Sw yeah. Anytime they come on, they're like, oh yeah, you were the one who showed me Black Swan. And I was like, oh my God, if it I wasn't, don't even If it that. wasn't for her, I would have never known Black Swan. Oh, I feel honored now to have shown you that. Yeah, you, that I mean, you put me on with some K-pop stuff. Okay. She's not even Korean. I'm Korean. I'm supposed to put her on with some stuff. I know. And you know, I actually like know a little bit of Korean too. I'm on level two of Korean. Level two? How many levels are there? 
the well, I mean, you have to like, you know, until you're conversational. Level two basically just means that like I can introduce myself and I, I would be able to like order things and I could have, you know, just like a conversation on the street. If somebody was like, hey, where's this store or something? I'd be like, oh my God, it's over there. You know, okay. <laughs> something like that. But I'm getting there. It's not, it's not easy, but I'm no. getting there. But I can read and write in Hangul, so that's nice. Impressive. Let them know one more time where they can find you on Instagram, TikTok, and all, all right. that. You guys can find me on uh, Instagram, uh, uh, TikTok, Twitter, The Korean Poppy. Yeah, and find or, uh, watch him on F Boy Island. As on well. HBO Max. Who knows if he's an F Boy or not? Who knows? Who knows? We don't know we'll yet. We'll see. We will get there. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. You can find me on Instagram at I am Brooke Morrison. And as always, until next time, bye. <laughs>